hey hello guys welcome back in this video i will be telling you about a next interview question and it could be a, a kind of tricky question okay so the question saying that how to combine many lists to form a pi spark data frame so you can see that you know i got this question from a linkedin post first of all right so the question saying that we have name age city so we have all these you know kind of list available right and we need to you know create a data frame likewise you know we have like this name as a different uh, you know we have like this name as a uh, we can say a column then age we have another column cities we have another column okay so likewise you know we have to do it so how we can actually you know create a data frame so now currently we are having kind of three data uh, three lists so maybe tomorrow we are having uh you know 10 10 lists then you will be not you know making a data frame manually right so we need to have kind of functions or you know we need to do something so that we will create a data frame easily okay so let's see how we can do that right so what we can do we can go over here and we can use here combined data is equal to we can use zip method okay we can use zip method and inside this i need to pass all the all the lists okay whatever we have it correct now what i will be doing we will be creating a schema so i will be creating a schema how we can create a schema you know stack type and then stack field and then what we have we have not like this I should go like this okay so name and then a string type and if if I want to make it false then I can make it false or two you know whatever it is okay this is the first one then we have dsp is equal to spark dot create data frame uh, you know combine data and then i can put here a schema right and i'll just quickly do here display of df we can see we have this name age of cities and likewise we have the uh, you know value if you want to keep the age as an integer then you can keep here int type right integer type not in type right so i hope that you understood this and this is a kind of tricky question or a kind of concept by question question right so if you liked it please do and do share this course with your friends so that it will be helpful for others candidate who are preparing for the interviews thank you bye bye